Welcome to Clue. Throughout this episode, you will get a series of clues that describe the mystery of the day. The mystery will be revealed at the end of the show. Good luck. Clue number one, they're living. Good afternoon, and welcome to a brand new episode of The Core. My name is Izzy, and today is March 26, 2018. Let's get things underway by taking a look at the current and upcoming weather with our student meteorologist, AJ. Hello, Yorktown. I'm student meteorologist, AJ. It's right around 1 o'clock, and as you can see from the parking lot behind me, we're currently experiencing sunny skies. The current temperature is 42 degrees Fahrenheit, and it appears to be a perfect day to go outside and play with your friends. Tonight and leading into early morning, you can expect to see partly cloudy skies. As always, have yourself a wonderful day, and let's take it back to the studio. Clue number two, they're black and white. My name is Owen, and here are some jokes to remember the next time you're in a situation to tell some jokes. Why do you tell actors to break a leg? Because every play has a cast. I'm so good at sleeping that I can do it with my eyes closed. Join us again for some more jokes tomorrow. Until then, let's take it back to you in the studio. Clue number three. They're really big. Hi, my name is Lenar, and welcome to the segment dedicated to improving your vocabulary. The word of the day. Today's word is atrocity. Atrocity is a noun. Atrocity is defined as an extremely wicked, brutal, or cruel act something very bad or unpleasant. Enormity and monstrosity are synonyms for atrocity. In a sentence, atrocity can be used like this. The Nazis took great pain to keep records of each kind of atrocity they committed. Atrocity, can you use it today? Clue number four. The male weighs about 300 pounds. Great job, kids. Now let's go to Drew with Today in History. Hello, my name is Drew, and I'm going to share some facts and events that took place on this day in history. On this date, in the year 1776, South Carolina approves new constitution. Based on this event, we're going to focus today's facts on the American Revolution. Fact 1. The Sons of Liberty was a secret society of people from the American colonies who wanted to protect rights of colonists. Fact 2. British soldiers were known as redcoats or devils. This has been to this has been Today in History for March 26, 2018. Now let's take it back to you in the studio. Clue number five. The females weigh about 200 pounds. Thanks, kids. Now let's go to Emily with today's true or false. My name is Emily, and today's true or false topic is about animals. Let's see if you can figure out which statements are true or false. Statement one. Dalmatians are born without spots. True. Statement two. Dogs are more popular than cats in the U.S. False. Cats are more popular. Statement three. Cats can be left pod or right pod. True. Thanks for watching today's true or false. Now let's take it back to you in the studio. Clue number six. About 2,000 of them were found in the wild. Thanks kids. Now from the creative minds of Jasmine and Michael, it's today's stop motion short titled The Hungry Stable Gun. <laughs> Clue number seven. They live about 20 years in the wild. Great work, kids. Now let's get to know one of the students here at MESMS. Hi, my name is Marcello, and I'm on Team Y. My favorite subject in school is math because the numbers are always right. My favorite hobbies outside of school are soccer and video games. Three words that best describe me are kind, funny, and annoying. When I grow up, I want to be a detective. That's all about me. Now let's take it back to the studio. Clue number eight. They're herbivores. Thanks, kids. We were wondering, if you were to travel to any country in the world, where would you go? Let's see what the kids in the hall have to say. I go to Peru because that's where my dad grew up, and I'd really like to know it. Brazil, because it's warmer there. I would go to Ecuador because my family is there. I'd like to visit Italy because that's where my family is from, and they have delicious food there. I would want to go to Italy because I would want to see all the places that's around. I'd go to Jamaica because they have a nice beach. I want to go to Spain to see all the soccer players. 
I would want to go to Italy because I'm very Italian and I would want to learn about my culture. Clue number nine. They're really good at climbing trees. Thanks, kids. Now let's go to Rocco with the lesson of the day. Good afternoon, Yorktown. My name is Rocco, and today's lesson is from English class. Theme. Theme is the message that the author tries to send. A lot of stories have more than one theme. That's all from today's lesson. Now let's take you back to the studio. Clue number 10. They eat bamboo. At Strang Middle School, we strive to be safe, responsible, and respectful. Today we ask students, what is the most appropriate way to use your Chromebook? Let's see what some of the students at MESMS had to say. I can use my Chromebook the right way by looking up information for projects or homework. I could use my Chromebook the right way by not bringing it to lunch. I can use it only for work purposes. I would not play video games on the Chromebook where I'm not supposed to. Um, by not like looking at anything inappropriate on my Chromebook. Do what the teacher told me to do. If a teacher is teaching, I would not be playing games on the Chromebook. I can use my Chromebook in a responsible way by if someone is not using their Chromebook correctly, then I can tell them, hey, are you not using it correctly? Do not search random things up. If you guessed pandas, you're correct. Thanks, Rocco. That's, that's our show for March 26, 2018. Thanks to all the students who contributed to today's episode. Remember to stay safe, responsible, and respectful, and have a great afternoon.